The National Urban Search and Rescue Response System, or USAR in short, was established in 1989 by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, working in conjunction with representatives from the fire service, rescue community, and various state and emergency response agencies. The USAR program now directly falls under the management and budget of the Department of Homeland Security and or FEMA. The creation of the USAR response system effectively established a national framework for rapid emergency response by 28 task forces from throughout the continental United States. Their primary responsibility is to assist local responders with specialized search and rescue situations. Typically, a request for a USAR task force will require local emergency managers to contact state officials who will then route a request for federal assistance. If the request is approved, FEMA will notify the appropriate task forces and either place them on alert or activate them to respond. As the task force arrives on scene, they fall under the jurisdiction of the local incident command system. Over the years, task forces have been called upon to deal with domestic events such as earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, explosions, floods, and other uncommon emergencies that have overwhelmed local responders, requiring specialized capability which is typically not readily available. Depending upon the severity of the event or type of need, an entire task force may be deployed or a scaled down more modular response utilizing elements of the task force can be requested by FEMA. When one or more task forces are needed, a Federal Incident Support Team IST, will be mobilized to coordinate overall implementation, field operations, and logistic support with local responders and state and federal officials. A deploying federal task force consists of 70 multidiscipline responders who represent five major functional elements. These elements consist of management team, rescue group, search group, medical group, technical specialties group. Upon notification from FEMA for deployment, all USAR task forces are required to deploy within a six-hour window. Upon arrival at the incident, each task force is fully self-sufficient with food, water, medical support, shelter, sanitation, fuel, and communications equipment needed to support itself in the field for a minimum of 72 hours. An individual task force response cache consists of over 60,000 pounds of specialized equipment, which is configured for rapid ground or air transport. Elements of this specialized response cache include technical search equipment, cutting, drilling, and breaking tools, which are used to penetrate concrete structures, as well as devices needed to reach, stabilize, and extricate trapped victims. Some examples of the task force capabilities are physical search and rescue operations in damaged or collapsed structures or areas, emergency medical care for entrapped victims, task force personnel, and search canines, reconnaissance to assess damage and needs and provide feedback to local, state, and federal officials, hazardous material survey and evaluations, structural and hazard evaluations of buildings needed for immediate occupancy to support disaster relief operations. Stabilizing damaged structures, including shoring and cribbing operations on damaged buildings. Recent terrorist events have necessitated the inclusion of a capability which includes additional personnel, training, and equipment to respond, monitor, and perform rescue operations within a weapons of mass destruction environment. The fact remains that the United States has the potential for catastrophic disasters, both natural and human caused. The National Urban Search and Rescue System is one of the most valuable assets available for communities that are affected by these large-scale disasters.